Hey there, I want to try the new uh, Steak Reaper ranch fries, please. And can I also get that in a burrito, too? You want the burrito and the fries? Please, yep. Okay. And I think that's it. Thank you. So I'm super excited to try these. Have you tried them yet? The, is it pretty spicy? It's, uh, it's not too bad. Actually. Not bad. I'm a big Taco Bell fan, so awesome. awesome. Bye. Thank Thanks you. again. All right, you guys, I've got it. The brand new Taco Bell steak, ranch, reaper, fries, and the burrito. I'm going to find a spot. We're going to park it. I'm going to check it out. Welcome back everybody to an all new fast food pit stops. I'm your host Justin. You guys, I'm in mastication friendly Milwaukee, Wisconsin, my new home to check out something brand new. <laughs> Taco Bell's all new steak, ranch, reaper, burrito, and their new loaded fries. You guys, they're available in two different varieties. I know that's a lot to say. It's a big mouthful, but it's a big deal because Taco Bell has introduced this new spicy rendition. It's the spiciest because it does incorporate that new Carolina Reaper sauce. Now check this out. We're just gonna get right to it. They have loaded me up with these Reaper Ranch fries and the burrito. Whoa! Now these Reaper Ranch Fries already start off with this new sauce. What Taco Bell has done is they have gone to the source, the Carolina Reaper Farm in South Carolina. I actually had the pleasure to visit the very same Pucker Butt Farms back when I did my Carolina Reaper 10 by 10 bacon cheeseburger challenge. Make sure you hit that review. I'll link it down in the description. That was back when I hit 10,000 subs, which seems like such a long time ago. And I promised myself after that terrible experience that I would never eat Carolina Reapers again. And here we are about two years later and I am here. Taco Bell has done it. They've introduced it. Whoa! Oh wow. Take a look. That Reaper Ranch sauce on there. It is loaded and mixed. There is a nacho cheese sauce on there as well. Some tomatoes. And of course, the steak. Gotta get this plastic off the fork. Probably not BPA free. Here's that tender, delicious processed steak that I'm sure a lot of you know and love. And that orange reaper sauce, which is probably gonna be super spicy. And then of course, Taco Bell brought back these nacho fries which everybody knows and loves now the burrito side of things is also available this thing is going to be wrapped with the same contents it's going to have those fries it's going to have that steak it's going to have that reaper sauce in it let's take a quick look i don't want to destroy the art form there it is oh oh yes it's got sour cream on it as well yeah, it looks like they forgot to put the sour cream on the fries uh, that is supposed to come on there, but again, it's Taco Bell, it's hit or miss, you never know what you're going to get. That's why you click on this channel. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and share button, you guys. I have lots of great things, lots of great reviews. We just hit 28,000 subs. I'm here in Milwaukee now. There's a lot of cool places to eat at. I am going to go in on it here on a first bite, big bite, of the brand new Taco Bell Steak Reaper Ranch. Let's do it. Big bite. Mmm. Oh wow. See the fries in there. It's just pretty cool. Oh, pretty cool. But this is hot. The sauce is pretty spicy. Oh wow. Full of that steak again. And those fries. I feel like they kind of didn't make either of these correct. I think my burrito is supposed to have tomatoes. I definitely know my fries are supposed to have sour cream, but can't help but notice this extremely bright orange, you know, looking sauce here. It's reminiscent of when I actually did Taco Bell's test item. I went all the way out to Tennessee and I checked out their lava sauce on their Crunch Star. 
according to Taco Bell, they have incorporated real Carolina Reapers into this ranch sauce. Now, of course, the ranch is going to cool it off a little bit. I know a lot of you are going to give me some hate. Back when I did the rattlesnake fries when they came out, all I heard in the comments was, click, 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 click. Armchair Warrior says these aren't spicy. Click, 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 click. Backseat Driver says these aren't spicy. They were pretty spicy. I will say that these are a bit spicier. Take a look. Wow. Let's do it. Big bite. Super cheesy, definitely spicy, got the sweat dripping. Oh, wow. The price on this wasn't bad either. It was $2.99 for the burrito, $3.79 for the uh, fries here. Now, the portion looks pretty small. I gotta be honest, I've had bigger portions of fries from Taco Bell, but everything seems to be laid out sort of okay, sans the fact we're missing things on both. The important part here is that Reaper sauce, man. Oh, it is getting hot too. Definitely feeling the vibe. It's super cheesy because it's full of nacho cheese, obviously. As far as spice goes, I mean, on a scale of one to 10 for the spice, I would kind of have to put this about a, I don't know, like a three or a four. If you're sort of used to their Diablo sauce, which of course is my favorite sauce from Taco Bell, let's kind of see how that stacks up. Let's do a little shot of Diablo. Big bite! That has just about as much kick as this new Reaper Ranch sauce. That's not to say it's not spicy because it is, but it tastes good. It's nothing that's gonna burn your mouth off, of course, but you always have to applaud a fast food chain for bringing out something super spicy because of course it's not gonna appeal to the masses. They're not gonna be able to sell this to the kids. This is really good. It's fantastic. Nice job, Taco Bell. Mm. These are definitely a step up from those rattlesnake fries that a lot of you gave me hate about. I thought those were spicy. These are definitely spicier. I, I think on a scale of one to 10 here, these new Reaper Ranch fries and the Reaper Ranch burrito, honestly, I'm gonna have to give them both the same rating. They're getting an eight and a half. I think they're fantastic. Obviously, I wish I had gotten the sour cream on the fries. You get about as much food in the burrito as you do here on the tray. You're gonna be paying more for this. The burrito's cheaper. Go for the burrito first. That would be my suggestion. These Reapers are only here for a limited time, of course. I love that they're using the real Carolina Reapers in the sauce. I think that's really cool. Obviously, the nacho fries are a hit. You guys, these things are a win. Go out and try them. Let me know. See if you think they're a 10. I wanna thank everybody for checking out the channel. Like I said, lots of new things coming up. And I wanna give a special shout out to all of my family and friends um, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. But I think I am going to go in on it here on a last bite, big bite of the new Taco Bell Reaper. Sounds like Tarzan Ranch. I think we're going to stack a little more of this Reaper sauce in here. We're going to make it a mega burrito, a super spicy burrito. Oh man. That's the one. You guys see that? All that Reaper sauce, all that steak in there, the fries, everything. Let's do it. A big bite. As always, thanks again, everybody, for checking out another great review here on Fast Food Pit Stops. I'm your host, Justin. You know you love it. You came back for some more of it. I'll be back for another. It is hot, hot, hot fast food review. Big bite. Bip, bip,